Hello friends, welcome. My name is Rachel and I am doing a project for Scrapbook Nerd today. And usually for Scrapbook Nerd, I do like a scrapbook layout or project life spread or some other kind of handmade embellishment. But today I am creating cards, not just one card, but two cards. Um, I was just in the mood too. I had... Um, I had two people that I wanted to go to give cards to, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make some cards. I have some wonderful products from Scrapbook Nerd. I have um, lots of the Marigold collection, and so that's what uh, paper I'm using here. And uh, I'm going to take this paper and just make it a little bit smaller than my card is. These were just like pre-made cards that were like cut and folded, so that was great. I sewed around the edges of this paper to make it look like I kind of sewed it on, but I obviously did not. And uh, I just think it looks really cute and adds some nice texture. So that's what I am putting on here on the front to start. I am not a big card maker. I have made a lot of cards in the past. I just don't. It's not my go-to. It's not my forte. But I thought this would be fun to work with what I have. And I am using pieces from... I think I ha I'm using pieces from Fresh Bouquet. But I'm not 100% sure. I know the, the paper is from Marigold. But this is what I was thinking of doing. But then I thought it was just too plain... Like, it just felt too simple, so I kept digging around more into my ephemera. I put all a bunch of my ephemera together. I think I have, like, all of my Maggie Holmes collections together or something, so it's kind of all mixed up. A little bit of crepe paper in there as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use this pretty little deer and the doilies just from my stash, and I think this deer might have been like vellum or something, but it worked for me. And I'm going to write why hello. I wanted that other word. I think it said today or something. I wanted that there, but it just didn't fit for a card. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It didn't make sense. I couldn't think of what to write with it. So I am just going to use these thickers. And uh, I believe these might still be in the shop. I can't remember, but you can check it out because I will put all the links below if you are looking for this collection and any new releases, um, they will have them in the store at some point. So um, I have pre-ordered Maggie Holmes Garden Party, so I'm really excited for when that might arrive. Um, really excited to get that collection in my hands. And um, on this one, I'm also going to use some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine uh, to kind of fill in that empty space. But I also have these other thickers that have like phrases and flowers on them. I don't know if this was from Marigold or not, but either way, it matched perfectly and, I'm, and I got it from Scrapbook Nerd. So be sure to check out their website. All the links will be down below. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to use some Heidi Swap Color Shine here um, to kind of bring it all together. And um, then I'll be moving on to the next one. But I will, at the end of this video, show you close-ups of the cards so you can see. But I'm just going to move this card to the side to let it dry. And I'm going to look through my Marigold paper pad for um, another piece of paper. Preferably a, a, a scrap because... I am trying to work through my stash these days. I just have so much paper, so, um, you know, you know how it is. I'm sure you do. I just have more paper than I will ever need, so I'm trying to work through it. And I'm going to kind of do the same idea with this one. I cut it a little bit smaller than the card front. The card, I think, was five and a half by five and a half, and um, I'm going to sew all around this patterned paper and then adhere it down. Perfect. I love these colors. I think they're so pretty and soft and subtle. Um, and now I am just looking through my papers and stickers and ephemera and seeing what I can use. So I grabbed this sticker sheet from 
oh, what's the collection? Uh, is it Magical Forest? I'm just going to look it up as we're speaking and see if it is in the shop as well. Um, I'm, I'm recording this video just a few days before it's going up, so hopefully this information will be accurate. Yes, there are, oh, there's some, there's some products, not a lot, but there's some. They got the stamps, the pins, um, so there's some, but not all. It is an older collection now. I don't, I don't know how I haven't gotten through it, but I bought a lot of this collection because it's really pretty, and it's actually really great for, like, baby albums and, like, uh, pregnancy albums, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I thought this unicorn was really cute, so... Uh, kind of the concept I was going here, going along with these um, cards is to have like a big element on the front. So for this one, I used uh, this unicorn and I like how the doily kind of makes it soft and cutesy and dainty. So that's what I went with there. And now I need some kind of like little title and I was going to do Hey Girl, but then I didn't have any Y's. So I went with high girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it works, I think. And of course, I'm going to use Heidi Swap Color Shine on this one as well. And uh, also do some other little... I, I did some enamel dots, but um, I actually changed out some of the enamel dots for stars. I don't show that, but just so you know. Um, and I think it is looking really cute. I just didn't know like what other details it needed, but it needed something. Like I said, I don't do cards very often, but I think these are pretty simple cards and pretty cute. And you really don't need a lot of supplies at all for cards. Um, they need a very minimal amount of supplies. So if you're looking for something quick and crafty to do, cards are a smart option. So I hope the recipient will like this card and they'll think it's cute. I don't know. I hope so. I think the unicorn is adorable and I uh, I obviously haven't used it yet. And um, I've used most of the chipboard sheets, but um, there are just a few little elements left. So I'm glad that I got to use that up. And I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges and things with my cloth. I try to use reusable products as much as possible so I'm not perfect but you know doing my part where I can um, so I'm just going to add a few more little drips there to kind of tie it all together and now I'm going to show you some close-ups so I hope you felt really inspired by this video and um, like I said all the links will be left down below if you want to find these products for yourself but I hope you enjoyed this cute little card video and these precious little cards. And I hope the recipients will like that as them as well. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.